If you often face indigestion, gas, acidity or your energy levels remain low, then there are five foods that you must include in your diet. Not only these foods are easily available but are backed by Ayurveda and today proven by modern science to resolve gut problems. We will discuss when and how you should consume them so that you can get the maximum benefit from them. So without any further delay, let's get started. Hello friends, welcome to Fit Tuber. Starting from your mouth, covering the food pipe, stomach, small and large intestine, all the way till anus, the complete digestive tract is called the gut. This gut consists of trillions of bacteria, some of which are good for us, while others are bad. The good bacteria in the gut not only help digest the food, absorb nutrients and excrete the waste out, but they also fight the bad bacteria. But often due to our bad food choices and some other factors, the good bacteria in the gut reduce while bad bacteria increase. This imbalance of bacteria is the root cause behind digestive problems like gas, acidity, constipation and IBS. If ignored, it aggravates to cause skin problems, you feel constant fatigue, immunity goes down, food intolerances arise and your mental health goes for a toss. Basically, if you take care of good bacteria in the gut, they will take good care of you. You will be amazed to know that when the gut bacteria were transplanted from one person to another, an obese person lost weight. Diabetes was cured and even colon cancer growth stopped. That's how powerful it is. So now that we understand the importance of good bacteria in the gut, let me share with you 5 foods that heal the gut. Let's start with number 5 on the list, that is curd. Curd is not only a source of vitamin B12 and calcium, but is also a natural probiotic. Probiotics are foods that have live good bacteria in them. Just one katori of curd has over 100 billion units of gut-friendly bacteria. In a study when patients were given curd daily for 4 weeks, the good bacteria in their gut multiplied because of which they experienced relief in constipation, IBS, colon cancer and even lactose intolerance. To get the most from the probiotics in the curd, add a little jaggery powder in it and have it 30 minutes before breakfast. This humble food will beat most probiotic supplements in the market. Second, you can make curd raita. Onion raita is hands down the best for gut health as onion contains various plant fibers that good bacteria feed on. Take some curd and add freshly chopped onions. Spice it up with bona jeera, black salt and black pepper. Add some water and mix well. It's an absolute treat for your taste buds. Spiced buttermilk is another great way of using curd. So the next time you eat lunch, instead of that glass of water, switch it with buttermilk. Only thing with curd is that it should be avoided at night. Research has also pointed out that home set curd has more probiotics than packaged curd. Curd not only has the power to add taste to a boring meal, but is a super food for your gut. Next on the list are oats. We now know that it is beneficial to have more good bacteria in the gut. But do you know the secret behind keeping these bacteria alive? It's dietary fiber. Basically, your good bacteria are saying, you give me fiber and I will give you health. And remember that all plants have fiber, whereas animal food is devoid of fiber. This is one reason why people who eat a lot of meat are more prone to gastrointestinal issues. Whole grains are generally high in fiber, but what sets oats apart from other grains is that it has a special type of soluble fiber called beta-glucan. It is because of this special fiber that oats are now considered a superfood for reducing body fat, cholesterol, type 2 diabetes and of course gut issues. In 2022, a study took place in China when 72 rats were fed oats daily. And in 3 months, the good bacteria multiplied and their gut health was found to be 2.16 times better. Good thing about oats is that even the laziest of us can make them. Simply add boiling milk in a cup of rolled oats and it's ready to delve into. You can enjoy them savory by sorting steel cut oats with your favorite vegetables. Oats can be used to make dosas, pancakes, chapatis, milkshakes and overnight yogurt bowls that are not only super rich in probiotics but also taste like ice cream. Well, include oats in some form or the other and your gut bacteria will become more friendly towards you. 
At number 3 is ginger. If there is one herb best for the overall digestive tract, it is ginger. Be it stomach pain, gas, acidity, constipation, IBS, or even as serious as colon cancer, ginger has been proven to be effective. In fact, in 2018, 16 clinical trials were done where ginger intake was compared with popular medical drugs given for gut problems. And in each trial, ginger was found to be either more effective or at least as effective as the drug. Anti-inflammatory, antimicrobial, anti-cancerous, a prebiotic with very high antioxidants, ginger is a complete package if you want to set your gut right. In 2021, when 123 people were given a small quantity of ginger juice for a few days, colonies of new gut bacteria were formed. Another amazing thing about eating ginger is that it increases the speed at which the food completes digestion and exits from the body. Chalo, now we know that ginger is the actual small wonder. But how do we use it? One is simply to regularly use it as a masala in cooking. For enhanced effect, relish ginger tea in between the meals. Simply boil freshly grated ginger in water, strain out, let it cool and add lemon juice and honey. Crushed ginger can be boiled with milk and consumed before bed. Ayurvedic scriptures recommend that if one eats just one small piece of ginger with rock salt and lemon juice before meals, it instantly boosts digestive power. Next on the list is grapes. Ayurveda counts grapes or draksha as one of the healthiest fruits. It has many health benefits but focusing on gut health it is one fruit that has the natural ability to bring the lying waste out from the body. Eat a big bowl of grapes and the next day you will observe that your stomach gets clear better. Today, even modern science lists grapes as among the top foods to relieve constipation. A study in 2021 showed that when 80 people ate grapes daily for just two weeks, not just the amount of good bacteria increased, but also the bad bacteria were killed. The best part was that the study concluded that the effects remain even 30 days after they stopped eating grapes. 81% water, rich in fiber, polyphenols and antioxidants. When you eat grapes, the inflammation in your gut lining reduces. Basically, they act as a natural fire brigade in your body. So if you are someone suffering from irritable bowel syndrome or ulcerative colitis, grapes are a blessing for you. Green or black, your gut bacteria loves them both. You can eat grapes in between the main meals as a snack. If you are a grape lover like me, you can even have them for breakfast. If grapes are not in the season, use raisins which are nothing but their dried form. Soak 10 raisins in a little water for at least 4 hours. Then eat the raisins and drink the sweet water along. It's a refreshing gut-friendly snack. Finally on the list we have fennel seeds. We Indians have always been ending our meals with a little somph. And why not? It fastens digestion and kills bad breath. Consume somph with mishri and it will act as a natural antacid. Have somph with ajwain, it will instantly reduce bloating. If you have overeaten, have somph with good and that uncomfortable feeling will go away. Fennel seeds boiled in water not only kills bad bacteria in the gut, but it is so tasty that you would want to drink it for no reason. Anti-parasitic, anti-inflammatory, high in fiber and cooling, you must keep this one handy with yourself. In a study, when people were given one spoon of somph two times after meals, in 30 days their IBS symptoms improved by more than 50%. Now you would have seen two types of somph. One is thin variety while the other is thick. Both are good but medicinally moti or thick somph is better as the amount of plant fibers and essential oils is higher in it. Now if we recap, in the morning, 30 minutes before breakfast, have a katori of curd with a little jaggery powder mixed in it and it will serve as a natural probiotic supplement. For breakfast, prefer eating something made of oats. Among grains, oats are best for the gut. You should try to replace wheat and rice with oats as much as possible. On some days, you can start your day with grapes as well. At lunch time, instead of that glass of water, drink buttermilk. At other times, you can even indulge in onion curd raita. Keep fennel seeds handy with you and after each meal, chew on them. In between the meals, you can snack on grapes or raisins along with ginger lemon tea or fennel tea. 
You can even include oats in dinner if not have any other whole grain. Remember fiber is most important for your gut health. Before going to sleep at night, drink milk with ginger or fennel seeds boiled in it. This is just a general blueprint. You can customize this diet to your liking. In a nutshell, if you include curd, oats, ginger, grapes and fennel seeds in your daily diet, your gut issues cannot stay for long and your good bacteria will sing a song. When your gut bacteria are happy, that shows up on your face. And if you want that effect to stay, stop using a soap which has sodium lauryl sulfate. And most commercial soaps have this strong chemical. Well, exception is Mama Earth's moisturizing bathing bar for babies, which is one real mild soap in the Indian market. Once go through this soap's ingredients and you will find that it has no sulfates, no parabens, no EDTAs, artificial color or fragrance. Rather, it's made using oats, goat milk, shea butter, coconut and lavender oil. Go through the so-called baby soaps in the Indian market and you will find that they do add cancer-causing ingredients like mineral oil and EDTAs. This soap by Mama Earth can be used by both men and women of all skin types. Still, a patch test is recommended. Many a time, even natural ingredients like besan don't suit everyone. As far as the ingredients of this soap are concerned, I assure that it is a mild, genuine soap which has been made in India. If you want to try it, its link is given in the description box. Don't forget to apply the special discount coupon to get 21% off. There are some amazing unheard benefits of oiling the navel. To know them, check out this video. My name is Vivek. I thank you so much for watching.